welcome to another of my conquest guides. Today I'll be going over the Sector 4 feat, Brood Warfare, which requires us to defeat 50 enemies with the Gene Oceans. Unlike a lot of previous conquests that have provided us with at least one node with a reliable revive character or mechanic, allowing us to exploit for X amount debuff or kill feats, it seems CG has gone quite hard on purging all such characters and mechanics this conquest, barring a few with relatively large cooldowns on their revive abilities, such as Watt on a Separatist General Grievous node and Ewok Elder in an Ewok C3PO lineup, although I've not seen the latter in Sector 4. Other than getting an extra kill or two from a Django and Barber Bounty Hunter node, due to their Bounty Hunter's resolve, the only practical, accessible and most importantly, for me at least, low effort way to get this feat is by using a weak node and autoing my way to 50 kills. Fortunately, there is one node ideal for this, even for non-G13 G notions, and that's the boss node. The Jedi that make up this lineup are trash, with the likes of Jedi Consular, Guardian and Sentinel. They don't hit hard or inflict daze or stun and, importantly, don't have many AoEs, maybe only two. All of this together means they are nothing but feet fodder. This is made clearer with my first battle. Although all of my Geon Oceans but Poggle are at Relic 5, they are unmodded and have 1% stamina, meaning their stats are significantly reduced with around 50 speed on each Geon Ocean. On top of being a relatively weak node, it also has a somewhat exploitable revive mechanic, where the enemy leader revives when their ally gets defeated, providing a potential 9 kills from one battle. However, this is kind of awkward to pull off as the enemy randomly gets marked when one of their allies with marked gets damaged. But if you play it manually and time spies silent strike right, you could get 6-7 kills per battle with relative ease. I opted for the low effort route and just hit full auto until I unlocked the feat, which was after my 10th battle. Regarding data discs, you don't want any that inflict dots or thermals as deaths from either of those won't count towards the feat. Discs such as Potency Calibration and Amplify Agony ensures the debuffs built into the Genotion's kits land and inflict some additional damage. Also, as Genotion Brute will be countering for the majority of the battle, the likes of Critical Formation, which restores protection to the team when an ally scores a critical hit, means protection equalization will frequently get topped up. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, ask below or find me on Discord. Till the next video.